Welcome to This Must Be Heard, a recurring podcast featuring discussions of Delaware County Community College's events, achievements, and initiatives. In this special episode from 2018, four DCCC students talk with Professor Maria Boyd about the past, present, and future of the New Media Lab. Thank you for listening. So, Professor Boyd, if you could give us a little backstory on the history of the New Media Lab for those who are unaware. Yes. Uh, The New Media Lab has been up and running since fall of 2016, but um, this is after several years of what was once the college radio station being dormant at Delaware County Community College. So the first thing that I wanted to do in revitalizing the student organization is to make sure that those of you who joined the organization were actually learning marketable contemporary skills for this new digital era. So um, I have a question. For, okay. Um, when we first put up the first announcements or flyers that we were trying to get the station up and running again, what attracted you? What what made you want to get involved? Well, I actually don't have an intended career path in the media world necessarily. I have more of an IT style ambition for okay. a final career path. So I was more interested in the back end because I realized, hey, this is probably a golden opportunity to get something because this all has to basically be done from square one again. Mm. Yeah, and you were really our key sound engineer from the get-go. You were the one who really looked at the equipment and saw what we had available. In in our first club meetings, we talked about doing a podcasting format that was a talk format. But in those conversations, we first had to figure out what we were even going to be called. Can you tell our listeners what it was like trying to get a new name for our organization? Okay, so basically, as a student organization, we have two obligations. One is we have to fall in line with the brand image of the college. Right. The other thing we have to do is service to the college, which is why one of our podcasts, This Must Be Heard, is exclusively focused on that. That's right. Can you talk a little bit about what those early club meetings were like before we were even producing any podcasts? Okay, so the early club meetings were pretty unorganized because (laughs) we didn't know how to organize things because this was all completely new to us and we just had to figure something out to get something very simple to work with, which is why we settled on the podcasting format, at least for the time being. Right, yeah. And with new technologies, even if we do have experience in broadcasting or in radio, Um, or in digital media, when new technology emerges, we have to learn it over again. Also, there are specific skills that people have to learn in order to perform on a mic. And it seems easy to have a conversation, but would you agree that some of the early days, it was a little tricky realizing that getting on a mic was more difficult than it seemed? (laughs) Yes, absolutely, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay. Most of what we were doing in the early days was learning how to talk on a mic, learning how to use the soundboard, learning how to edit using our software. And I have to say, we wouldn't be here today without you because okay. you really took the lead on making sure that we picked the best open source technology so we could be an organization that gave students skill sets they could use in real life. Everything is open source. Mm-hmm. and that That was part of our mission early on, is we wanted people to be able to build skills here with the New Media Lab that they could use in real life. Some people have an ambition to be in broadcasting and want to learn how to talk on the mic. You, as you said, have that IT ambition, so you've really been the person who, you know, we might find under the desk sometimes, wiring things up for us um, and learning the software and teaching the rest of us the software. Yes, exactly. That's the thing here, is that it's not all about who's sitting in front of the mic. Oh, absolutely. The behind the scenes is so much of it. Yes. And so uh, for us to continue this conversation, who's up next? Yes. China is up next to discuss the recent accomplishments of the New Media Lab. Take it away, China. Well, thanks. I am one of the founders, of course, China Black, and uh, we have been going at this for a while. And I remember us at our first meeting in October of 2016. But can you just give the people an idea of uh, of some of our accomplishments and all of the things that we have done and we have accomplished in in the last year and a half or so? Oh, absolutely. Um, Well, our biggest accomplishment is that we got our name, the New Media Lab. (laughs) That took a lot of effort and a lot of negotiating with the college and a lot of support 
support from the Communication Arts and Humanities Department and the creativity of the students. So I consider that a big one. But then just getting up off the ground and producing original content. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of where we are. Okay. I think that this is a big accomplishment as well. Like I said, I've been here since the beginning because we didn't have a lot of people. And now we have so many different more voices involved and so many people more involved in everything. What are the things that we have to come? What are some of the things that we've all gotten together to talk about that we have coming out soon? But I, wa I want to um, go back to what you were saying about building up the group. You're right. Um, as of the end of spring 2018, we have close to 30 members. Wow. I didn't and even notice we had that insanity. many. insanity. I'm so excited about that. We have people who are pitching new ideas for podcasts. We already have a slate of podcasts that are in early pre-production for the fall, which I consider a big accomplishment. Another accomplishment that is, I think, really special is our podcast called This Must Be Heard. It's designed to help us connect with and serve the college. Mm -hmm. So we've worked with the Paralegal Studies Department. We've worked with the Career and Counseling Center. We've worked with the Online and Distance Learning Department. And we have also worked with the Achieving the Dream initiative here right. at Delaware County to give exposure to that. So it's not just about the accomplishments of the new media lab, but we like to um, serve the college in a way that we are highlighting the accomplishments of the college as well. That's great. So um, one thing that I'm particularly proud of is the fact that even though we started with about maybe five to ten members yeah not even that um many. <laughs> yeah. i don't even think that many um i love the fact that each semester um, from spring to fall we get a great amount of people that love to be involved um i love the fact that we are we were able to produce so many podcasts within the last year and which i thought was going to be impossible just with <laughs> just with so many things because a lot of people have so much other things that they have going on whether yeah. it's family whether it's other classes and the fact that everyone was able to you know dedicate themselves to certain podcasts and um meetings and things like that so i'm just grateful that we have the members that we have who want to get involved who are willing to take the steps to make this a better organization oh yeah i think you're absolutely right and as you were saying that i was reminded that what people might not know is that we're all beginners right there is no class attached to this to teach us how to use the editing equipment or how to talk on a microphone or how to interview people right we're all learning that as we go and we're not even being graded on it because there's no class. So people are putting in their own volunteer time mm -hmm. to learn these skill sets. And I am so pleasantly surprised at not only the natural talent that our members bring to the table, but the dedication of building the skill sets necessary to learn how to use the editing software, mm -hmm. to understand how to use the sound equipment in our studio, which is down in the student center where Campus Life is. And, and also just learning about collaborating and working together as a team. You know, podcasts in some regards can be a very isolated solo endeavor, but not here at the New Media Lab. It is a collaborative endeavor where you're learning transferable skills that you could take into radio studios, television studios, and other sort of media jobs. Mm -hmm. We're really building up skill sets that you guys can put on your resumes and maybe help you get a door open for you when you're, when you're trying to build a career uh, in the media industries. Yes, I'm very proud of that. I'm so happy. We have so <laughs> much more to accomplish. Absolutely. And now Micah is going to talk to Miss Boyd about the plans in the future. Take it away, Micah. Thanks, China. Hi, Professor Boyd. Hi, Micah. Hey, Professor Boyd. Can you tell the audience about future plans for the new media lab? Yes, we have initiatives that we are working on, the first of which is something that you've actually been helping work on. We are looking for people to create theme songs for both our Study Break podcast and our This Must Be Heard podcast. Tell us a little bit what you've been doing to get that initiative off the ground. Yes, I've been talking to fellow students of mine and people around the college about possibly recording some music and showing Professor Boyd and the rest of the New Media Lab about having a new 
sample music for theme music for our new media lab. We hopefully, within the near future, will be able to work with the public relations department at Delaware County Community College, and they can give us approval to put all of our back episode podcasts and all future podcasts actually on the internet and have them available via iTunes and Google Play. And I'm not sure when that's going to be possible, but um, I really want this to be something that we can go forward with. So when Micah, you and our other founding members finish your time here at Delaware County Community College, you can still access the episodes that you worked on producing and hosting and writing, and you can use them for your own portfolios as you can continue in your education at your transfer institutions. What do you think about that? That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, hopefully it's something that we can uh, get underway in the near future. And then finally, we're going to have a new class to add to the communication studies available courses that you can take called New Media Studies, where students will learn about different forms, genres, jobs, and uh, issues related to new media. That sounds wonderful, Professor Boyd. I'm glad we could hear more about the upcoming future of the New Media Lab. Now we have Colleen talking to Professor Boyd about how students can get involved in the New Media Lab. Thanks, Micah. So, Professor Boyd, let's yes. talk to you a little bit how students can get involved in the New Media Lab. Oh, well, there's lots of ways to get involved, but actually, Colleen, I have a question for you. You're one of our members who came to us after the New Media Lab was already up and running. And what interested you? What made you come to a meeting? Well, for number one, I have been trying to apply for internships, and most of the internships would ask you to send in some of your recent work in your portfolio about any videos or any editing that you have done or any radio podcast that you had possibly done, and I actually do not have much experience in that. Okay, yeah, th th you know, I hadn't even thought about that, uh, that this is a great way to build up a portfolio for internships or for applications at your transfer institutions. And you've been on a couple of our episodes. I think you hosted one and then you were one of our uh, announcers. Can you talk to us a little bit about that experience? The experience was very nerve wracking, but it was a fun experience. It was my first time announcing for one of the episodes and I also hosted an episode as well. Okay, so uh, what episode did you announce? Do you remember? I believe I announced for Black Panther. Okay, okay. And then uh, tell us which episode you co-hosted. And I co-hosted with the Super Bowl podcast. Ah, yes, and that was one of our double size uh, episodes where we actually had four co-hosts. Um, tell us a little bit about the process of rehearsing that and then producing and recording the actual episode. Well, sort of rehearsing it, we all met, all of our co-hosts together, and we actually made a list of bullet points of possible things that we could discuss that we wanted to throughout the episode. Mm -hmm. Just certain topics that we wanted to touch on and sort of just kind of organized when exactly we were going to talk about those points. Mm -hmm. And then when we actually filmed the episode, we separately filmed it all at different times and we talked about those bullet points but kind of more in a casual conversation with each other. Great, great. And uh, if you were talking to a fellow classmate about the New Media Lab, how would you describe what the student organization is and the work that we do and why you like being in the New Media Lab? So the New Media Lab is an organization where students have the chance to possibly look into doing podcasts and students who do not have much experience in the communication field or even uploading their own videos, editing videos, sound engineering, and so forth. Okay. And then um, I guess the final thing is how to get involved directly. I would recommend come talk to me, Professor Boyd. I'm in room 2315, or you can email me at mboyd23 at dccc.edu. We have monthly meetings, and we also record sessions throughout the semester. So we try to work around people's schedules, and that's about it. Um, just come find me or come find one of the members of the New Media Lab, and we can help you get involved right away. Thanks, Professor Boyd. And thank you, Colleen. It was good talking to you. Oh, it was my pleasure. You've been listening to This Must Be Heard, brought to you by the New Media Lab and Campus Life. Today's hosts and producers were Emily Quinn, China Black, Micah Hanker, and Colleen Lyons. 
Our graphic designer was Raven Amaro, Victoria Colbreth, and Samuel Larson designed our cover art. Indigo Frazier composed our theme music, and I am Grace Zorzina, your announcer for this episode. You can follow us on Instagram at DCCC underscore New Media Lab, and please be sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube.